Welcome to Outlaw Woodworking. Work hard, get dough. I can't get no sleep, which make my life more simple. But I wouldn't trade a thing for what I have. I go hard, do what I need to make it last. They say the good die young, I hope I'm bad. Cheers to my past. As you can see, we're in the we're in production mode of um, doing Christmas presents for little kids. And um, previously we made some gear, little gear thing for some kids. And now we're in, um, now we're making cars. And, and we've got, we've got a lot of these wood cars that we're producing. And one of the things I learned, which I'm gonna share with you is, so what do you do? So take this car, this little truck for instance. What do you do when you're drawing the car? So you draw this little truck and um, basically, you have two sides though. So you need you need the opposite, you basically need the opposite tool path to do to to cut out this opposite side and have it line up perfectly to where you know your axles, everything's perfect. So let me let me go in the drawing and I'll show you how I how I figured out how to easily um, rotate these tool paths to get a perfect a perfect little uh, two-sided car and basically what I've done is uh, I've taken one by six pine and cut I'll cut one side out and then I'll, I'll call it a right or left side and then I'll cut another side out and in these particular little trucks I, I've got them just two pieces however I, I did start doing um, some where I put a third piece and basically how you do that is you cut this first, you cut your first, your right and your left, and then on the last, when you put the next piece in, all you do is that profile tool path without cutting any of the other stuff out. So let's go in the drawing and I'll show you how easy it is. And um, yeah, you too could uh, make some pretty easy, actually this van, this little van is my favorite I think. I think this one's gonna turn out really good. Anyway, um, yeah, let me show you the drawing part and then we'll come back and finish a few of these. Okay, let's. I'm gonna show you how to create multiple side tool paths really easily. We're gonna leave this, leave this material the same, super simple. We'll go up here, um, let's see. Let's start off with our axles. I always kind of start with the axles. Let's draw a school bus. So we're going to do, um, let's delete that, escape. So what I need is I need um, a diameter of 1.25 for the axles. We'll go down here. We'll get a rough idea of where we want them. Let's say right there. It's too low, so we're going to move that up a little bit. right there okay we need another one of those on the other side and this is going to be a school bus so we'll try to get it lined up with that one okay now those are actually the axles so the diameter of those is 1.25 an inch and a quarter so now let's draw all we're going to do is the body so let's start here we're going to start in the middle of this axle. We'll come out. Mm, not too far. Let's see. Try to picture what a bus looks like. We'll go up a little bit. Have a little bit of a bumper. Come up. Now buses are pretty square. So we're just going to make this square. Keep this simple. Uh, let's see. We don't want it too high. Maybe like that. I'm going to be out like that. We want a bumper on the back too, so let's line it up with this one, might as well. Okay, now we need a line going from the middle. And I'm going to put an arch on the front, so the front looks like the front. Um, we're going to start about right there. We're going to go right there. And that'll be the front. So we're going to close that. And we're going to trim off this excess here. And we're going to have a problem up here. 
So let's trim that. It's a little bit of a hump right there. Let's see if we can't fix that. We're going to highlight this. But it's all one continue. I think we'll just leave it like that. A lot of the school buses, they do have a little bump up on the top there. Okay, so now you can tell that this is the front of the bus. So we're going to highlight that, go back to the profile toolpath, do the same thing. We're going to do three passes instead of two. We're going to add these tabs right here. Click on this button, edit tabs, put these tabs in here. close and we're because the because the it looks like it's to the left so we're going to go ahead and write uh, left body so now we're creating this first toolpath we'll go ahead and calculate yes it will cut through the material so there's our toolpath now we're going to shut that off we're going to go back to the 2d view we're going to go back to our drawing tab and this is how to create perfect reverse sides really easy. But you have to do it each toolpath one at a time, otherwise it gets con too confusing. So we're going to go over here to Transform Object, Mirror Selected Objects, Mirror it, Flip it horizontal, and right away it highlighted the one that you flipped. So right away you, you can see that pink, that's our, that's our flipped version. So now we're going to go over here leave it highlighted we're going to create the other toolpath edit the passes three hit ok add our tabs it automatically did the same as and this time we're going to put right body and calculate and there you go so now if you shut that off okay so right there you have a right body and right there you have a left body and they're exactly the same. And um, so that's the way to create toolpaths. Now we'll go ahead and finish this drawing up because I'm starting to think that I might make this little bus. So now we're going to be back in the drawing tab. We're going to go ahead and delete that one we just made. We'll highlight it and delete it. So now we're, we're basically on the left body of this bus. Now we need a whole bunch of windows in this bus. We need a few things. We need the hole for the axle, um, which I've been I've been using seven sixteenths. I use a three eighths dowel for the axle for the for the shaft for the wheels and tires. So this hole I basically put at seven sixteenths. So we'll go ahead and create that toolpath first. And up here we're going to put seven sixteenths, which is point four three seven five we'll go ahead and get in the center of here there's one there's two now what we need to do we need to create these tool paths one at a time so we're going to go ahead and this this one cuts all the way through so this needs to be a separate one from the other drawings that we're going to do so we're going to highlight these two we're going to group them together we're going to go over to the toolpath. We're going to create a pocketing toolpath. It's going to it's going to go all the way through 0.78 cut depth. We're going to use the same bit's going to do the whole thing for us. We're going to do three passes. And it's going to be an offset. And right here we're going to put left axle, left axle. And cut that's through, yes. Okay, piece of cake. Now we're gonna go back to the 2D view. We're gonna shut that one off. We're gonna leave it highlighted. We're gonna run over here and we're gonna go to the transform objects, mirror selected, flip horizontal, go leave it highlighted, go back to our toolpath. This is really simple actually. So right now we're gonna do another pocketing toolpath edit the passes okay and make sure all that's the same down here we're going to put right axle we're going to put right axle and calculate 
Okay, so now we have the left body, the right body, the left axle, the right axle. So we'll go ahead and shut that one off. Go back to the 2D view. We're going to delete that one we just did. Always keep it in your left hand drawing, which makes it a little simpler. So now we need to do some other stuff in here. We need some windows. So let's get to making some windows. Now how I do that is I'll highlight the bus because we want to do a lot of windows. So we're going to do a half inch, basically a half inch between the windows. And we're going to go inwards. And we use this to get a straight line on the body. So right there is, that's our offset. But we're going to actually put a line right through this thing, probably right about here. We'll go ahead and go straight across. Okay. Now what we could do is trim the, that bottom part off. Get all that out of there. It's got stuff everywhere. Okay, there's our, our start of our windows. So we what we want to do is we want some, we basically want to keep this half inch the same going through the whole thing. So we'll go ahead and start there. We're going to go half inch, 0.5, enter. Then we'll go up. There's one. And basically we'll trim in between it. Oh, undo that. And there's our first, the front of the bus right there. And basically we keep going. We're going to fit just kind of, you know, rough. It doesn't have to be perfect, but kind of figure out where you want the windows and then just keep the division between them pretty similar. Now we're going to trim that. Okay. So there, now we just need to keep going down this path and create all these windows. Mess that one up, but we can still 0.5, come up. Hit our trim key. There we go. Okay. It's kind of, it's always fun doing a, a new drawing and just playing around with the, how you do it. But I thought the way, the way that you match these tool paths, that seemed to be pretty good. Okay, almost. I think one more and we'll probably have her pretty well situated here. Okay, there's our school bus. So we got the front and the back. Now we're going to do the same thing here. We are going to basically our so our bodies are we already have tool paths for the body. Let's go over to the tool paths. So you can see we have over here left body, right body, left axle, right axle. So now what we need to do is pocket these windows. Now we're going to group all these. We'll go ahead and group them together. We're going to go over to the tool path. It's a pocketing tool path, but we're only going to go a half inch deep. So that leaves a quarter inch of material that'll still be in there. We're going to do two passes. We're, we don't need any anything else in there. We just need to label it. So we're going to put left windows. And calculate and there's the there's the windows right there so now we do the same thing uncheck it go back over to our 2d view in the drawing we leave that highlighted but we're going to go over here to transform objects mirror selected objects we'll hit mirror flip horizontal close go over to the toolpath so you can see the 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 flipped over version is already highlighted. We'll go up here to the pocketing tool path. Pocket tool path. We're going to pocket it a half an inch. We're going to edit the passes to two. And right here we're going to put uh, right windows. And calculate. Okay, now we can shut that one off. Now if we go ahead and we're going to preview this. So what you want is you want to, so you have left body right there, left axle. So I always do the axle first. So I'm going to put this up to the top and I'm going to do the left windows up at the top too. Because basically what I do is I cut out the axle 
the windows, and then the whole body. So we'll, so then same here, we're going to move this one up, right, that right axle, and then we'll move the right body up one. So you keep them, before you save this to your disk to go over to the machine, you kind of line all this stuff up right. So now if you look at this, we'll go ahead and preview this. We got left axle right there, left windows, and then left body. And that'll be the cutting order that, you, that you're going to do. We'll go ahead and preview that. And preview visible. Oh, let's see. Reset preview. So we need... We need to preview left axle, left windows, and left body. Preview visible. Now it's not showing me the windows. Why is that? Preview. So it's very important to preview. Something is wrong with that left window. So we're going to click on that. And you can see right up here, cut depth zero. So we didn't, we didn't put the half inch in there. We're going to change that. We're going to recalculate that. We're going to edit the passes to two. I thought I put a half inch, but it looks like I didn't. That's why it's always important to preview because you can see what's going on. Now we're going to check these right windows too. And that has a half inch up there. Okay. So that should be okay. So let's go through this little preview again. We're going to reset it to zero. We're going to left axles, the first one I cut, left windows will be next, the pocket, and then the left body. So let's preview the visible. And there's our little school bus. Okay, we're going to reset the preview. We're going to check the right one right axle, right windows, right body, and preview that. And there's the right. Now, if we go cut both these, they should line up perfectly when we put them together. Now, this this looks like a cool little kid, kid's toy, so I think I'm going to go ahead and make this. Let's go over to the machine, and we'll cut this out. And there you go, how to create a tool path for two sides pretty easily. So here you can see both sides of the bus, opposite sides, and put them together and there's what you got. I made another piece for the middle. So this bus is gonna be a little wider, very similar. It's gonna be similar to this width right here. Now you could, if you had some good wood, you, you could basically do this with solid pieces of wood which would be nice but this is this is pretty much what i have right now I actually i think this this one's my favorite my nephew um and don't tell my nephew but this is for my nephew he he started a plumbing company up in the mountains called yeti plumbing and it's got this sasquatch with a little pipe wrench in the mountains and um i think that turned out really cool Anyway, uh, yeah, I'll give you a close-up of a couple of the couple of the trucks that are almost finished. And thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe, like the video, and hope you have nice holidays. Thank you. Here's a little close-up of the Yeti plumbing van. Yeah, pretty simple little wood car. I really enjoy. They actually roll really good too. But you can see the Sasquatch there. He's pretty detailed. You can really see the little pipe wrench in his hand. Yeah, anyway, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe, like the video, and I'll see you next time. Merry Christmas. Work hard, get dough. I can't get
no sleep, which make my life more simple. But I wouldn't trade a thing for what I have. I go hard, do 